this video is going to introduce us to genetic control. We're going to start looking at switching on and off genes. Here are our learning intentions. So cells look and function completely different from one another. We know that as humans we have lots of different types of cells and so do all other organisms like skin, muscle, liver, blood, uh, leaf, mesophyll, and root cortex. Okay, these are all examples of different types of cells, and all of these look uh, and function completely different to one another. Okay, why do they do that? Now, the reason why they do that is because cells are specialized for certain functions. Okay, they perform uh, differently to one another, and they're specialized for those functions. Now, the biochemical function is actually determined by enzymes. Now, different sets of genes must be switched on and off in various cell types. Okay, that's the reason why we have different cells. Okay, so um, we're going to talk about the involvement of genes. Okay, genes code for proteins. Now, remember, genes are a uh, section that is uh, on the DNA or a section of bases that codes for a particular protein. Uh, enzymes, hormones are examples of what can be made from genes. Okay, and genes control cell structure and the function. So one thing here is um, differentiation. It means that we can have unspecialized cells, um, which can actually be transformed into specialized cells. Okay, so there's some influencing factors uh, which can affect uh, switching on and off genes. So um, if we look at switching on genes, uh, we're looking at expressed characteristics. And if we're switching off genes, we're looking at repressed characteristics. Okay, so it means that if a gene is turned on, it means that the characteristics will be shown or expressed. Um, but if we turn the gene off, it means that the characteristics will be repressed because that protein won't actually be made. So uh, it can re re be reversible, um, and that can be a multi-potential as well. One example of genes being switched on or off is the uh, enzyme beta-galactosidase in bacteria. Okay, we can switch this on or switch this off so that the enzyme beta-galactosidase can be produced. So beta-galactosidase enzyme is the one that digests lactose um, and breaks it down into glucose and uh, galactose. Okay, so lactose itself is a disaccharide made up of uh, glucose and galactose, the two sugar molecules, and we can actually break the lactose down into its two uh, monomers, the glucose and the galactose. Now, the control of beta-galactosidase production depends on a uh, regulator gene operator and a structural gene. Okay, so E. coli is the bacteria, okay, which has the, the beta-galactosidase uh, enzyme. Um, so E. coli's chromosome has a gene to code for beta-galactosidase um, and will only produce it when lactose is present. So this means that in the presence of lactose, the gene that codes for beta-galactosidase is switched on. Okay, It's switched on so that it can break that lactose down into the two components of glucose and galactose. If lactose is not present, uh, it means that the beta-galactosidase 
can be switched off. Okay, and this is going to save energy and resources. Okay, so the process of switching on a gene is called enzyme induction. Okay, and that is it for this video. So we talked about uh, turning on and off uh, genes.